Yo, yo, yo. Will Reagan, Reagan Reefs and Reptiles. Um, this is just a short video showing something I've been doing. And I don't know, maybe other people do this already. I haven't seen it before. But I've been putting kind of like an interacting platform or deck on the front of all of our display enclosure stands. And I just put tile on it so it's easy to clean. Um, and basically the concept I had behind it was that the best relationship you'll have with your reptile is if you interact with him on his terms. So, of course, top opening, awful. You're coming at him like a predator, um, especially this is a blue tongue skink. And of course they have that third eye in the middle of their head that catches shadows. And uh, if you shadow that, it'll, it definitely will startle them. Um, so anyway, front opening, much better. But the other thing is this little platform I put on it kind of allows them to come out as they want to. If you didn't have it and they come out, something like a blue tongue skink is going to hit the floor. You know, they're not good climbers, obviously. Um, so anyway, this is a four by two by 18 inch uh, PVC front opening enclosure made for us by Dragon House Manufacturing. They do a nice job and uh, their pricing is quite competitive. Turnaround time, a uh, little slower than I'd like, but it's not awful. But uh, if you order one and they tell you two weeks, it's not going to be two weeks. More like six to eight weeks. <clears throat> but anyway, the stand I built, it's just a simple stand. I mean, it's plywood over two by two framing with some moldings to make it look kind of nice. Um, and then I built this deck on the front with tile in it. And let's see if it works. That's him right there. Hey, buddy. So basically, I kind of just, you know, rub my hand, get him interested. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Now, he may not feel like coming out right now, and that's just part of it. I mean, they come out when they want to. Um, but if I reach in and I pull his log bark off of him and pull him out, he's not going to be happy about that. And if you do that too many times and make all of their interactions with you negative, then you end up with a very skittish animal. But if you do it like this, where you're letting him come out on his own, do what he wants to do, and if he doesn't want to come out, I don't force him to, but you'll see. So, see I let him come on out on his own. And he's very calm, super chill. He's not nervous at all. This guy's awesome. This guy is a northern blue tongue skink. And he's got a bunch of different genes in him. Um, I'm not an expert at blue tongue skink morphs. I would say I would know more, you know, about ball python morphs than blue tongue skinks. But um, I just kind of let him do what he wants to do. So he came out, I pet him, hold him a minute. I don't stress him. Then he goes back in as he wants. But anyway, awesome animal. Um, his mom was like a Turner White mixed with Sunset. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the pairing to tell you exactly. But his mom had Turner White and Sunset in in her, and the dad had Turner Orange and. T positive uh, caramel albino in him. So he's got the T positive dark eyes that you can, you know, tell by that, that the T positive is there. And anyway, that's just something I thought that would work well and it has so far. Feel free to comment whether you think it's good idea, dumb idea. Um, feel free to do it on yours if you want to. I certainly don't hold any copyright on it. And again, Y'all might be saying, oh man, this dude's a friggin' idiot. Such and such does that all the time, has done it for 20 years, and that could be true. I don't know. But anyway, I think it looks cool, uh, but more than that, it allows him to come out and interact as he wants to. Just makes him more chill. And obviously, he's a blue tongue skink. I mean, he's not a nervous 
difficult to handle an animal at all. But I don't see why this concept would not work with a Savannah monitor or a Nile monitor, something aggressive. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be as easy as him because he's easy. Um, probably still will take a lot of work. Whereas with him, I mean, a couple of times of trying, just tapping and rubbing my hand on the deck and he comes right out. I mean, he always has, but that's his nature. You know, he's an easy animal to handle. But anyway, that's him.